Welcome to the SDVOE Design Partner Certification course, your gateway to this incredible ecosystem. Throughout the course, you will learn all about how an SDVOE system works, from the design topology to the API which drives software-defined video across a 10 gig network. And at the end of the course, you'll have the opportunity to take a short assessment to test your new knowledge. Design Partner Certification is only the beginning of your journey. The SDVOE Academy is a comprehensive repository of short video-based courses designed to further your knowledge not only of SDVOE, but of the subject matter that surrounds it. Once you've completed this certification, we encourage you to take a deeper dive into the various aspects of SDVOE. From sales tips to technical know-how, we've got it covered. And with brand new courses being uploaded every week, there's always a really good reason to come back to the Academy time and time again. You don't need to be at your computer to learn either. Download the SDVOE Academy app on your mobile. Log in with your SDVOE Academy credentials and enjoy your courses anywhere at any time. Our brains are only able to absorb around 16 minutes of new information at any one time. So we keep each course to around 10 minutes to make sure that you get the most from your learning. Each course offers a variety of animation to keep you engaged and occasionally you'll find little old me walking you through some of the more technical content. Finally, and best of all, every course is completely free. At SDVOE, we believe education should not come at a cost. We want you to have the best chance of learning everything you need to know at your own pace. So, to begin with, Let's hear from the President of the Alliance, Justin Kennington, who will explain how SDVOE began and how it's revolutionising the matrix switch. Enjoy. SDVOE stands for Software Defined Video over Ethernet. The SDVOE Alliance was launched in January 2017 by six founding members sharing a common mission to accelerate the replacement of point-to-point -point connectivity and the matrix switch with Ethernet-based transport systems. SDVOE technology is uniquely suited for this displacement because SDVOE is the only technology in the AV over IP space that can match the raw performance of a matrix switch. That means delivering images flawlessly, without latency, and without compression artifacts. SDVOE is transforming the matrix by offering flawless performance that users are accustomed to with scalability and design flexibility only possible in a new kind of architecture. That architecture also enables new capabilities and features that were impractical or impossible in traditional matrix-based designs. Look closely at the list of founding members and something interesting jumps out. This is not just a gang of companies who build encoders and decoders. In fact, the only one close to a traditional AV hardware manufacturer in the list is Zevi, who were the first to deliver endpoints for the SDVOE platform. Besides them, we have Christie and Sony, both major players in the display arena. Today, we see them integrating SDVOE technology directly into displays, something we'll see more of as the ecosystem continues to expand. Aquantia and Semtech are two companies the audience may not be familiar with. These companies provide chipsets and core intellectual property that drive SDVOE. And finally, Netgear, who you probably are familiar with, but not in the context of AV. Netgear have recognized that SDVOE is an opportunity to establish a leadership position in Pro-AV as a supplier of switches to replace the matrix. Today, the Alliance boasts 45 members and more than 200 available products on our platform. Our mission is unchanged, to displace hd base t and other point-to-point -point connectivity products and establish Ethernet and SDVOE as the primary technologies for managing AV and control signals. We will use interoperability and software layer standardization to establish a platform for the next generation of AV applications.
It seems like everyone agrees that AV over IP is the next big thing in Pro-AV. It seems like it's been the next big thing for four or five years now. Why aren't we there yet? The challenge for this revolution has been a lack of standards. It's like the Wild West. All the Matrix Switch incumbents are scrambling to build their own little walled garden of AV over IP. They have been thinking like AV companies, but that way of thinking is a dead end. SDVoE is a standardized platform with interoperability between manufacturers. This enables an AV ecosystem that functions more like the IT industry than traditional AV. Nobody buys an HP laptop and a Dell laptop and then lives with the fact that you can't email from your HP to your Dell. That's a laughable idea, and yet that's exactly the way Pro-AV has worked for decades. SDVoE's approach says, let's first agree on a standard level of performance, the matrix switch, and build that performance into our platform. Then let's ensure that the products on this platform interoperate with one another, not only hardware to hardware, but hardware to software. This creates a healthy ecosystem where individual participants can contribute a little or a lot. But big or small, everyone can focus on their strengths. System designers can choose SDVoE products from any manufacturer, keeping focus on creating systems for end users that best solve their business needs. Isn't that what technology is supposed to do? SDVoE is a full-stack solution. That phrase is based on the seven-layer OSI network model. What it means is that SDVoE addresses everything from the infrastructure at layer 1 all the way up to control interfaces and applications at layer 7. This is important, and in my view, it's what HDBase-T missed. HDBase-T is a transport, and that's it. It's a way to move AV and control signals from one end of a cable to another. The problem is, they let manufacturers do whatever they want with that transport. So, you get the 3-play, 4-play, 5-play problem, and interoperability becomes unreliable and unmanageable. How many multi-brand HD-based T-systems have you actually encountered? SDVoE defines the transport, but just as importantly, SDVoE defines the control layer through our standardized Application Programming Interface, or API. The API is a set of commands like route input 3 to output 7, or enable scaler, set output to 4K60, or overlay input 5 as a window on top of input 6 and send the result to output 10. This command set is a part of the SDVoE standard, and all devices from all manufacturers adhere to it. This is the key that makes SDVoE more than a matrix switch. Because the API is the center of the SDVoE universe, a software provider can fully participate even though they have no manufacturing capabilities. We're no longer in a hardware-defined world, we're in a software-defined world. This is a critical transition for AV, because software is what creates user experience. When you choose a new cell phone, do you first think about GSM versus TDMA? No. You think about iOS versus Android. You choose a software platform first. In this world, someone who has a great idea for an application can leverage the SDVoE API without building their own hardware. They can focus on creating software that generates great user experiences or solves business problems, without deep concern for which manufacturer's hardware is deployed in a particular installation. This interoperable ecosystem is the key strength of SDVoE. Guys, look out. This revolution we are undergoing is only a question of when and not a question of if. Ethernet always wins. My strong advice is to come to terms with that and work hard to educate yourself. Understand how Ethernet and IP technology work. Become conversant in IT vocabulary. Education is a key mandate for the SDVoE Alliance. It's why we have created the SDVoE Academy and SDVoE Design Partner Certification. There is a knowledge gap between where we are and where we need to be to succeed in a world where everything moves across Ethernet networks. SDVoE Academy exists to close that gap and address a wide range of AV and IT topics. How 4K works, how chroma subsampling works, what is latency and why does everyone claim not to have it? SDVoE Academy's mission is to educate AV pros on how to survive in an IT-centric world. 
That world can be an okay place for us. I hear a lot of fear from the AV community sometimes. Fear that as the IT world closes in around us, everything will become commoditized, leaving no purpose for us. I don't think that's true. And I think a purpose of the SDVOE Alliance is to increase the value of AV. The value of the AV community is not being good at choosing what boxes to install or how well we terminate cables. Our value is our expertise in creating great user experiences. By being educated on platforms like SDVOE that make it possible to focus on delivering great user experience, our community remains irreplaceable even as the world changes around us. Change creates opportunity for those who have the right education. I invite you to stay with the Alliance and come to us with your feedback. If there are topics or areas where you feel your knowledge set is weak, you are probably not alone. We want to help fill those gaps. We want the SDVOE Academy to be a trusted resource serving the industry. We believe in our mission, and we believe that together, through education, we can keep AV a strong and thriving community in a world where IT is encroaching day by day.